Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, so in this video, we will continue or maybe finish uh, talking about uh, the Node Console API. Uh, this is essentially the last function we're going to cover in the in that API and its console.dir. The only other function we haven't talked about is console.warn, uh, which is an alias for console.error, uh, which we've already covered in a previous video, so there's no need to go ahead and cover that. So console.dir is the last function we're going to talk about in the console API in Node. Okay, so what this function allows us to do is to print uh, objects uh, and we can provide uh, additional options uh, for this function to use to essentially display this object in the console in a way that we like. Okay, um, so I have an object here. Uh, which is three levels deep. What I mean by that is you could count here uh, that uh, this is level zero and then within the object you have another object so you could call this level one and within that object you have another object so you could call this level two and within that you have another object so you could call this level three. And you know both favorite and last red are at the same level so you're both level three. So you have an object here that goes down to three levels, so the object is three levels deep. Okay, so what would happen if we tried to print this object using console.log, for example? Let's go ahead and do that and uh, see what happens. OBJ. Okay, let's run that. All right, what do we get? Okay, all right, so it's printed. Uh, normally okay so this is a function you can see why they're not showing it to you and here as you can see here books you don't get the full object here all it tells you is these brackets with the object in between it just tells you there's an object there but it's not telling you what it looks like and anything okay so what if we were using dir instead what would we get and the reason for that by the way console that log only goes down up to two levels. So you could say here this is level zero, attributes level one, and then you got the books here, which is level two, but uh, favorites would have been level three, and last rate would have been level three, so you just get the objects for that. That's why console log. Uh, that's why console log cannot show the, the full object because it goes deeper than levels than two levels. Okay, so console.dir, if we just use console.dir and do the same thing, we act, we essentially get the same thing. That's because by default the console.dir function goes down to two levels as well. But what you can do is provide some additional options here, and the option I want to cut pull into attention right now is the depth okay so by default the depth is 2 so you can change this at your will and decide uh, uh, how much uh, uh, how further down you want to go so let's uh, how much further down you want to go so let's go down to 1 let's see what happens so, so you can see here so this is level 0 and then here you got level 1 and you can tell anything else that was an object here is you are just called object and in between brackets. All right, well, that's not what we want. What we want is to see the full object, and as we know, the object is uh, three levels deep, so let's go ahead and provide three here, and let's see what we get. All right, so as you can see, we get the full object. We no longer get this object uh, stuff uh, that uh, we were getting earlier with console log and with levels that were shallower than three. Okay, so one one other thing you can do. So the depth by default is two. So if you don't pass anything here for depth, the function will treat it as two. So it was it will go down to two levels. Uh, you can provide a specific depth if you like, but you can also provide uh, null here. And what this will do is tell the function to just go as 
far as you need to go to show the full object okay if that object was more complicated and you had 10 levels uh, providing no as that would give you the whole uh, the whole object and that's 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 really good to have this because you could have some JSON object for example you know that you converted to an object and you'd like to know uh, what it looks like and you know the console that they're good uh, using this depth up to now would be very helpful too okay so what else can we provide as options now the second options we can talk about here is the show hidden option okay and what you provide here is either true or false by default it is false so let's go ahead and provide true here and see what happens okay so what it will do it will show the hidden uh, uh, stuff that are that are contained in, in that object but that are not shown just because you really don't need to see it so you can see here what are the arguments to this function what's the left the left I believe represent the number of arguments and you know and you know color and prototype and the other thing that uh, you can see here uh, we have an array here so it's telling us what the length of that array is so essentially what show hidden does is just give you extra information about the object it tells you more about the object and uh, my favorite option is colors and what you would provide is either true or false by default this is false and I like this because I am a child and I like colors okay so that's what we're getting here you can see all the values uh, for the different keys within the objects have different colors numbers have different colors uh, strings have different colors and and so on all right so this is how you would the different options uh, to essentially have the object printed the way you want and you don't have to provide all three as we've as I've shown you before you know you can provide uh, whichever you like here you can change them to true or false remember that by default depth is two show hidden is false colors is false okay so uh, you can go ahead and you know examine your objects using the console at the function all right, so this is the last video in the console node console API. Next, I will be talking and essentially preparing a, a video series for uh, the event emitter class in, in Node.js. So I want it to be very exhaustive, and so we'll talk about essentially almost every every function in there. So you could see all the things you could do with the event emitter and how to use it in Node.js. All right, so please uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, to this channel. I got uh, plenty of uh, videos coming up. So, so if you want to know, uh, if you want to be in the loop for that, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you like these videos. Uh, and uh, uh, if you've got questions, uh, go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I will respond. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. All right, bye.